but I'm, I'm taking this opportunity to speak about myself. Um, because, uh, <laughs> because that's what I want to do, and I'm here chairing this, so uh, that's my um, right to do this. So anyway, um, my, my journey with the OSGO community, the PhosphoG conferences, began in 2016 in Bonn. And, uh, there is a couple of things that I remember about that event. Uh, I was staying, I was staying in the base camp, uh, without knowing any of the people there. I haven't, I hadn't seen anybody before. It was a choice like that that I will go to this conference, and um, essentially that's where this thing started for me. Um, one of the things that I can remember from, uh, from staying there is uh, Till. Hi, Till, if you're watching, um, and his scooter. And I specifically remember thinking that how cool is this that you can come to a conference like this, this uh, kind of a community get-together on a thing like this. You don't have to fly, you don't have to take a train, you don't have to take a bus, a ship, anything. You just go like and you go. And then uh, this Sunday, uh, this Sunday morning when I was coming to the venue, I got out of the gate at my house, got on the bicycle, and then suddenly remembered this thought from, uh, what is it, like eight years ago? And I finally understood that, yes, I'm, I'm there. This is done. Um, and anyway, on the, on the way back, I started thinking about uh, this would be really nice to have it uh, in, in Tartu as well. So, and uh, here we are. Very, very cool. Uh, Astrid, do I see you somewhere here as well? Oh, you're here. Uh, I will give you the microphone in a second. Uh, so, we are an open and welcoming community, and it's a, it's a, as you might have heard, it's a duocracy. So, if things need to be fixed, then just step up and uh, offer your help. And this is, in a way, I think Astrid was the first person I met in Bonn. And uh, the way I met her was uh, essentially you go into the base camp, you see that people are setting up the lunch table. And without knowing anybody, you just walk up and offer your help. That can I help? Do you need help with the tables? And, and she goes like, yeah, sure. And... Uh, Maybe you want to speak more about the OSGO membership and everything. The OSGO membership and oh, yeah. everything. So I prepare the space here and I have some slides for you. Oh, looks like it. Okay, so <laughs> perfect. Good. So it looked like you enjoyed the conference uh, from your emotions, I, uh, I could suggest. And maybe you would like to keep in touch with this great community. And that's what, what I want to show in this next slide. So I'm here on the OSGU.org website. This is the website of the foundation. And there you find this community part. You find a lot of information, but to get involved, this is the right place. And there you find this getting started. This is an important page where you can register and find the important links. So to get started, you need an LDAP account, and this is what you can do um, immediately or in the next time. And um, to, to create this account, you need a mantra. You might, thi might think what it is, but it's a secret word that I know and some people know, and you will know in a second, that you have to enter, and then you can create your LDAP account. So we can all look now to the, to the left. So this is a mantra. It will not be recorded, hopefully. So 
keep in mind or ask at the welcome desk and then you can go further to create your LDAP account. With the LDAP account, you can easily create your member page. You will see there are many members around and this face you should remember because that's our president. It's Angelos Chochos. He's not here today, but maybe he's uh, watching us and maybe you will meet him at the next event at the Frost 4G. So like this, you can create a member page as well. You can refer to your website, to your company, to the city, and get connected with other local chapters. You will also find local chapters and check out whether there's one for your country or your language. If there's no one, not a local chapter, for example, there's no one for Estonia, you might want to create one and you are welcome to do so. So this is what I wanted to tell you, and I would like to pass something to the next event, because you will see on the community page you find many events, and you can go to the links events, and uh, one of the great events that's going to come will be Phosphor-G Global. It will be in December this year, normally it's in summer. It will be in Be Belém in Brazil, and Ariel will talk about it in a minute. And this one I will take home again, because it's normally for the next Phosphor-G Europe, and as we don't know where it will be, we will take it home and pass it when the event is clear. So, thank you and enjoy. Ah, yeah, and we will... Hi, <laughs> uh, I, my name is Ariel, uh, in part the, uh, the board member, I'm integrated for uh, LOC, the 444 c 2024 in Belen, in the province uh, du Pará, in near, near for the Amazonia, in Brazil. I don't know for production. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we, we, you will uh, see uh, the city to Belém in the culture and vegetation and people. Uh, Belém is the door for America, uh, Amazon. Uh, very, very beautiful uh, city and the conference venue in, in Belém over everything that for, for she need. Uh, I don't know for here? Yeah, it is the traditional music. I, I cannot next. <laughs> I, yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, how do when to Belém, get to Belém. Very easy. The direct flow, yeah, yes. In, in possibly in Seattle, it's long time, no? It's, it's the possibility for BCA. They are direct fly uh, for Lisboa uh, in Portugal. Um, the wind connection, the rest in the euro. For example, for example, I'm sorry. Uh, the good action area, yes. The best option for Europa is trip for Lisboa and cost around 19 AA euros and takes new or I'm, this is near, flying, no? The events we consist in very, very similar uh, for, for for she Europe, two days of workshop, three days uh, of May conference, um, uh, and social and B2B, uh, aquí, social and B2B events, and sure for the pub, it's very, very important. Uh, and the, uh, in the open stream map event, uh, the conference specific the state of the map, Latin in 20, 
24 this uh, takes place in Saturday and Sunday we uh, for for she code spring no uh, this event in two place one place this is a uh, hangar and cent uh, convention center and uh, second place this ESPI Instituto uh, de Belén is Belén University uh, um, the host in Belén University for the Code Spring uh, workshop and my conference in Angar uh, Angar's Convention Center. The imports days. Call for paper for talk and workshop. This closing in yeah, uh, 11 July. I'm sorry. 11 July. And you are here. Um, the all roadmap for uh, publication and proposal for the Finnish schedule. And the academic track, this, uh, this uh, delay in the 13th July, and um, is near for the extension for time for presentation. Uh, news, sponsorship opportunity is uh, open. Uh, you can also apply for childcare facility and ready. And uh, we will uh, have a violet point. Uh, this help any attender that many experience uh, has men. Is the first for for she. Uh, incorporate for the diversity team for uh, all all topics uh, for Viole uh, Point. Um, sorry, I, um, remember, um, July 13th, uh, the like call for academic track, and July 12th, call for baby. The uh, delay track. And um, one moment. I'm sorry. Okay. Quick review is very very fast. Chest fly, carbon footprint offset, air condition in <laughs> conference venue, and plenty of exotic vegetation to admire in the Amazon. See you so in Berlin. Thank you. Well, this was uh, this is really good, and uh, oh, thanks. I need that out too. And hopefully, there is uh, many of you thinking at least about going there. Uh, it's going to be an exciting event and a nice place to go because Belém is actually south of the equator by a very very tiny bit, but it still is. So if you haven't been to the on the other side, then that's your possibility. Uh, anyway, we move on with the thank yous. Uh, big, big thank yous to all the sponsors, especially our gold sponsors who have made us, uh, no, sorry, that's the wrong sentence, who have made it possible for us to uh, stream and record all the sessions. The good news is that some of the recordings are already ready and we need to start thinking about uploading them so they would be rewatchable again. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess so. So if you want to, if you want to watch Ivan speaking like three times in a row, then you can do that. 100 hours of, uh, you know, uh, and we got a really, really nice message from Zetot, the band that was playing yesterday. Uh, they were commenting on the audience being uh, f amazingly full of energy 
and uh, very thankful for the fantastic reception that they got. So that uh, the boys were all smiles as they left was the complete sentence. So <laughs> this is. This is, this is thanks to you, uh, because I don't think I've ever seen so many GIS people jumping. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and the QR code should be for their Facebook page, what they are using. So if you want to check them out, invite them to play to your place, then that's a possibility. Um, so Zetot. And uh, finally, we'll take the, uh, we can give a round of applause to the people who were organizing this event. Um, can you come up here? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So I can, I can go like this. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. And extra applause to Tunis, who had the idea to bring this event here. No. No, just, uh, and just a final thought that uh, I was speaking to somebody of you, or maybe a couple of people, in the previous days that uh, everybody was asking that, yeah, how are you feeling? It's very anxious. You seem so calm and relaxed. And this is, this is actually uh, the same Sunday evening. We were sitting outside somewhere, uh, and I had a kind of an epiphany. Uh, that essentially all the things that we could do are done and we cannot do like anything more. Maybe simply fix small things. Uh, and now it is up to you, the audience, to make this a great conference. So if it's, uh, if it's not a great conference, then you have failed. <laughs> but I, but I, guess, I guess it was okay. Like you did okay. You did okay, yeah. To you. Yes. Uh, also, hi from me. It was the very first uh, Post4G conference for me. And uh, oh, yeah, I'm already crying. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say I'm super happy to, to be able to meet all of you. And it was a great experience as I was involved in the team from the very start. And I got to meet so many cool people and learn about the community. And I learned that I love you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry for being with the back. Yeah, I think you all know that Merrily actually deserved like extra, extra, extra applause. <laughs> Does anybody, anybody else have any final words? Aite, uh, thank you.
Oh, well, okay. Then uh, I think this is it. Uh, we will go offline now, and uh, there is going to be most probably an unparty tonight somewhere happening. Uh, there has been talk some talk about karaoke in Mula, which is my local place where I usually go. Go check them out. It's a really, really nice place. Uh, and then there is the community sprinting and the excursion tomorrow. Don't forget the excursion. If you have the ticket, don't forget the excursion. Otherwise, community, community sprint, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, that's it. Now we're off. Thank you. Bye-bye. And have a safe trip home. <laughs>